Hi guys, today we're looking at the inside of the new Blade 350QX. This is with the top cover off. And there were a lot of tiny little screws to get this cover off. Of course, it's easy to see speed controllers, of course, the whole motor. You can see the um, GPS antenna and the uh, GPS system wrapped in the uh, foil there. Of course the main circuit board is down here. And I'll, I'll try to point out a couple things um, that we have here. We've got um, over on this side you can see this from the battery door. This is actually um, a connector that will more than likely be used for the uh, gimbal that they're they're currently working on and uh, some people have plugged servos into this and noticed that the servos actually work in relationship to tilting uh, the machine back and forth over here is a connector that looks like it may be for telemetry um, I was kinda hoping it was for a satellite receiver but I, I have a feeling it's telemetry uh, don't know yet and right here this red tube I've actually added that. That's the uh, the main antenna is a little tiny red wire, uh, bare wire with enamel coating. It's very easy to bend or possibly break. So I um, put a little piece of hard plastic antenna tube over that, and at the base, then I, I put some flexible adhesive uh, just to kind of tidy it up and to protect it a little bit, just in case the battery wire comes into contact with that. And of course here I've replaced the standard connector with the uh, XT60s which are becoming very popular. And then of course um, some people have discovered that you can use these new Thunder Power battery packs. Um, the 2700 milliamp 25C. Um, it does need to be the light version. You can't use the 45 or the, or the higher capacity version. They're too large. They won't fit. These batteries um, also fit, of course, a lot of people know, they fit in the Phantom. And uh, they've been working out very, very well. Um, so that's it for uh, the inside of the machine. And uh, as we learn more, maybe about that, uh, that white connector, we'll uh, post a new video about that maybe get some flight videos online soon and uh, we'll see how this ship performs. It has been in the air already but uh, um, I need to get it in the air quite a bit more with a camera on the front and we'll see how well it does.